Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is a talent or try Tuesdays, and this is pre shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go get up in my shower and I'm gonna do a reading and I'll put my special dress on. I mean, wingish. Hey, this is my medicine woman dress. I love it. I'm from a thrift shop in the 70s. In the 70s. No, it wasn't in the 70s. But the thing's probably from, probably vintage from the 70s, you know. Great year. Yeah, 75. That's my year. Yep. Classic car right here. A classic car. Um, nose is sniffly. Yes, I've been crying. About my children again. Like, jeez. That's okay. I mean, it's a tough, a tough spot, you know. The first one was happy living with me. <laughs> right? The other ones want to go live with their father. And it's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. I tell them there's nothing wrong with that. They don't have to choose. It's like a lot in my family, right? I'm not an ever, ever anybody to say, Oh, you have to choose. No matter what's going on, you know. I mean, I even have a couple of friends that they don't talk anymore, but I'm still able to talk with each of them, right? And we just don't talk about the other one, right? Whatever that is. But I've just always been like that. You can maintain relationship. I don't have to like everybody that you like and everybody that you hang out with. I mean, right? Not everybody is everybody's cup of tea. There ain't nothing wrong with that. So, you know, I'm the kind of person that don't make anybody choose, but feel like there has been a choice made. It wasn't me. Does that make sense at all? You know, like it's not about choosing sides or anything like that. You know, it's not about kids have to pick their mom over their dad. It's never about that. And no matter what, I always tell them it's okay to love their dad. And I want them to. Biggest thing, I don't want them to feel ashamed of themselves. Right? It's when that shame comes in that we, um, we hurt ourselves more and hurt, hurt others. So this is what's going on. Uh, isn't it funny? I didn't delete all my videos because usually I upload them and then I delete them off my phone or my tablet wherever I've recorded them so that it's not taking up that space. And um, when Allie and I first connected, she said, well, she could redo some of the old ones. Well, I don't have them. So I found those. And I just posted one yesterday. Now, Monday, I told her to to wait for Monday. So I introduced myself. That just came into my head. Wingish Nibe Mishiki Kwe. Yep, Wingish Nibish Mishiki Kwe. A couple of different ways in Ojibwe to say sweet grass water medicine woman. Yep, that's me. Friendly freaky ass medicine woman. Uh, Christiana Carr, Christy Carr, superstar. Yes, all oh, this classic car right here. This divine being and welcome to you divine beings right here too. How goes it for you? Did you try something spontaneous and new last week? I just reposted last week's Tell It Tuesdays. No, there. So, when this comes up this week or next week, we'll try and get it on a Tuesday, right? Because if I'm saying Tuesdays, we might as well keep it on the day that I'm doing it. But, so, if we're a week ahead, that'd be good. So, the Tell It Tuesdays. No, I lost my thought again. And this is what happens in this part of my cycle. I was talking about cycles and... And you can see, difference from last week, I was on the upswing of my cycle, right? This is getting into, you know, the down times. I used to say I only had a couple of good days a week because, uh, you know, there's always a constant pain going on, but it's mostly up in here. Um, and then when the cycles come, all well, then it's like more everywhere and then I got cramping and you know I feel ovulation and everything too literally feel it each side oh sometimes both sides right anyway 
biggest thing I'm sad about is my kids. When we try to get in routines, and there's the hard thoughts. Right? It's because, and I never, never really cared what anybody thought, right? They're, they're in their own opinions. But right now, when it comes to the school and the stuff, that's tripping me up. That's really tripping me up. I've been afraid to be the mom I know I am, right? Things get twisted or the kids react to me like I'm some strict mother. Like, I know when we watch TV and stuff that influences. That keeps playing in my head. My daughter was shown, and it, you know, I read really young. Like, my firstborn didn't get to watch the, the, the scene where the, the, in The Lion King, where the dad dies until he was five. Because at that time I was in ECE, you know, learning all that stuff. And that children, although they may look like they're intently focused on the TV show or whatever, they are unable to process those big emotions until about five they can start understanding that. So below five, they shouldn't be watching anything with high intensity emotion. Because their brains, they don't know how to work that out. So, and I have seen the difference, let me tell you, in my children. Because I was able to monitor and watch more of what, what my eldest son was watching than my three younger ones. So he didn't watch as many violent shows. And, you know, of course he had, you know, rough tumbly times too. But wasn't into the violence as much, you know. You know what I mean? And then my girl, we can put those little subtle things in there because my kids react to me as i said before either like i'm the teenage sister or like i'm the evil stepmother you know like the girl loves rapunzel but she looks at me like the evil stepmother that kidnapped her right i'm like i'm not your evil stepmother and they watch it without me and then the other one brave right where there's issues between the daughter and the mother. You know, you say, can I read too much into it? Well, you know what, when you're heightened and you pick up on stuff, like what is that, right? So I'm looking at that and as awareness and not going, oh, it's all that, but I can kind of see those influences in the way she talks to me. Cause it's, you know, they repeat, it's, she's five. She's mimicking what she's learned as all five-year-olds do. Right? Until we get up to like seven or eight, then there's another development in the brain or another connections making and we can, you know, we're not accepting everything as truth, right? But now at five, you know, up till about seven, we kind of almost accept everything as the truth, right? Until we get a little bit of a discernment. And then even until we get up into like 25, I think, is when the brain's fully developed. You know, in those teenagers years, that logic isn't connected, right? It's all about instant gratification and stuff, right? So we're, you know, dealing with developmental stuff too. And then when you put those other things in there. <laughs> it's hard to have... <sighs> I want to have fun with my kids. <laughs> you know, they say, man, they don't like you, you're doing your job right. You know, I've got, yeah, right. I didn't, I'm not here to be their friends and that's okay. But to... Uh, trying to take my power back there too because if if this has given anybody any fixes to see me like this <laughs> my greatest strength my greatest weakness my kids <laughs> Greatest strength and greatest weakness, my children. 
wanting to be the best mom I can be for them, the best example. I'm just a mom, but a human being. <laughs> I really try hard not to get into this, but it is, without exaggeration, daily. It's daily. And I, no too many places for me to go. And I feel worse that they see me going through this. And, with their kids and they're okay and so am I I don't feel like it right now but I know that I am I know when we get down I'll be up again that's just you know it's part of life it's this human experience and I love it, it shows that I'm human right I have feelings too right I'm a human being. I'm being human. And that's okay. You know, one day, maybe my kids will see me like that. It's human too, right? Because I know they love me. It's stuff that they have learned. You know? And, and, what kid likes to do chores? Not too many. Not too many. And I had my time, too. I was my mom's little fairy. I didn't like doing chores in front of anybody because I didn't want them to be make, make, make fun of me or whatever, right? Get labeled for somebody else's stuff. That's the thing. That's what I... No, oh, you do, do. Yeah, yeah, I do. But I didn't do it to get recognized. Even still, my mom doesn't even... You know... See, I was your little fairy, oh, she, you know. I didn't do it to get recognized. I did it to help. I did see that smile on my mom's face and my mom being presently surpri pleasantly surprised that her list was done. I think I probably scored my daddy some bro bro brownie points there. <laughs> I didn't speak up. Unless I wanted something, right? Oh, mom, I did the dishes. See, see notice those check marks on your list? Yeah, now can I have 20 bucks to go to the movies, right? <laughs> Uh, well, that was the only time I said anything other than that. I like doing that. Random acts of kindness. I don't need the acknowledgement. I just feel good because I know I've done something good. You know, if I try to be good, I still got lots of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go have a shower, come back and do a reading, and I'll be all better. <laughs> well, you know, getting there. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Biggest heart hugs ever. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And we'll see you on the, um, the readings. Yeah, do a card reading. Okay. <laughs>